I sang a song uh, which is entitled Fasad. Fasad is in Arabic and uh, is an Arabic word that means corruption. So uh, this song I, I wrote it last year. It is part of my my my, my activity that I do uh, for because I'm an activist. So I, I wrote it to uh, pass a message on the uh, on the fight against corruption. So uh, when you hear some of the words like door taki, hak taki, kelim lale fasad, it is your role, your right to say no to uh, corruption. Uh, it's translated into the simple, uh, the simple Arabic. The song is all about the situation in our country. Uh, when you look into the education system, we we have in so many occasions borrowed money uh, from other countries to improve on the education system, but this money ends up uh, uh, benefiting a few or individual, so that is exactly what I, I meant in the song. The government of South Sudan recognized that corruption exists and is committed to fight the evil of corruption in all its forms and, and manifestations. Now, SAC has drawn some strategic goals to fight this corruption. One of these strategic goals is to prevent corruption in South Sudan. Under this, we have some objectives to achieve this one, this goal. The second goal, the strategic goal, is to promote good governance in the country. The third one, to investigate and persecute individuals who involve in corruption. Four, to promote partnership working among the stakeholders in fighting corruption in South Sudan. And five, to monitor and evaluate the implementation of South Sudan strategy and action plans. With uh, the ability to raise and sustain forces and wage violent conflict. The diplomatic heads of the A car of that animal that tells us a very dangerous animal with something done in terms of punishing the perpetrators of violence. Over the past two years, we've seen some really positive conversations on Outstanding reform in South Sudan remains extensive and urgent. I call upon the unity government to address this with urgency, as this is a critical component of encouraging investor and donor confidence and consequently economic development. Let me conclude by stressing that corruption is beatable. However, to combat corruption effectively, continuous commitment and dialogue between all branches of government, independent institutions, and the people are required. Within our existing resources, the United Nations is committed to continue supporting South Sudan in this endeavor. <laughs>